Hi everyone, welcome to Melissa's Home Cooking. Would you like to learn how to make a traditional and authentic satay peanut sauce at home? Satay peanut sauce is such a versatile sauce that you can use for so many different recipes as a dipping sauce to making pasta, pizza, wraps, burgers, and eat noodles and even curries at home. This sauce is so good and delicious and it's my family favorite sauce that we use every time. So we have here in front of us 500 gram of roasted peanuts. You can, um, I use blanched peanut and roast it in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes. The uh, recipe for that is just below the video. And then we have here two and a quarter cups of water. We have three tablespoons of sweet sauce. This is the sweet sauce. It's the Indonesian ketchup manis, which is the sweet sauce. Three tablespoons of that. Three tablespoons of light soy sauce. Three and a half tablespoon of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt. I use coconut oil, so about half cup of coconut oil. You can use any cooking oil you have at home. We have here two and a quarter tablespoon of the turmeric pulp and half cup of water. We're going to soak that together um, to take out the juice from the tamarind. And then for the spice paste, we have here 15 dry chili. We're going to soak that later on and then we have 6 of the shallots, 6 of the garlic and 4 of the lemongrass all chopped up ready for blending and 2 and a quarter tablespoon of coriander powder and half cup of water. So let's get started. So firstly we're going to chop up the using a food processor. So now the peanuts is all chopped up, we're going to leave it aside. Next, we're going to add in the half cup water to the turmeric pot and let it soak for about 15 minutes. Then next, we're going to add in some hot water into the dry chilli and let it soak for 15 minutes as well. So now the tamarind is ready, we're just going to squeeze out the pot. And we throw away the pot, just keeping the juice. Next, we're going to take the seed, the dry red chilli that's been soaked and it's now soft. So now the chilli is all the seeded, we're just going to chop it up so that it's easier to blend the paste. So now it's all ready, the chilli, we set it aside, ready for blending. Okay, now we're going to blend the spice paste for the Satay peanut sauce. So firstly, we're going to add in the chili and then the garlic, the lemongrass and the shallots. and the coriander powder and the water just going to add in another quarter cup of water so now the chilli paste is all ready if you want it more spicy remember to add in more chilli powder or add more chilies so now I'm going to heat up a pot and start cooking the satay peanut sauce. Heat up the pot on medium high and then I'm going to add in the cooking oil. And then I'm going to add in the spice paste that we blended earlier. So that we're gonna put this five case on things aromatic and smell spicy. So about five minutes. After five minutes, we're just gonna add in all the sauces. Mm. 
the sugar, the salt, the peanuts. Tamarind juice, the water, I'm just going to stir everything in and let it boil. After three minutes, it's now boiled and we're just going to taste and see whether we need to add more salt. We have about another quarter teaspoon, a half teaspoon of sugar. We're going to taste again. So the salt sugar is to taste. Now it's delicious. Just nice. So we can uh, just switch off the heat and leave it aside to cool down. And you can saw them in the fridge for a number of weeks in the jar once the sauce is cooled down. Here is our satay peanut sauce. This sauce is so versatile and can be used for so many recipes. Please check out all my videos from barbecue chicken satays, chicken satay burgers, chicken satay pizzas, pasta, noodles, or even curries. It is also great as a dipping sauce for all barbecue meat. This sauce can be kept for a number of weeks in the fridge or in the freezer for up to 3 months. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I look forward to see you again next time.